Wake up! Shalom, good morning to all the children of Israel and the tribe of Judah forever. Welcome back to another episode edition of Judah Forever TV. We are today at Calabash Cove and it's raining this morning. It is Sunday morning and I got wet walking here along the way. I'm on this beautiful hut right now to protect the phone from getting wet. But I might have to stop the video and do another part two when the rain stops. Which is no problem, but I want you to catch this rainbow. Oh my gosh, it can't even go out. But if you can see this rainbow, my goodness, it is so beautiful out here. It's actually two rainbows. If you look above the more clearly visible rainbow, you will see a second rainbow. It's more on this side, on over here, if you look on the left. It's where the rainbow goes right into the water. That means that the sun is right behind us. Now let me give you the lesson for today. That means every time you see a rainbow, a rainbow is a reflection of glass and water. What's happening is it's a, a reflection of the dome, glass dome, that is above the earth. Yes, there is a hard glass dome. It's made out of not just glass, but many different materials like uh, hydrogen and gold and other forms of metals that no space shuttle has ever penetrated. No missile from uh, NASA or America or any other country that they try to do over in, in, in Norway and, and beyond Norway, I should say, beyond, um, I'm sorry, I meant to say um, Australia and what's that place called? Um, New Zealand. I'm sorry, New Zealand. That's what I meant to say. Where is the closest land to Antarctica, Antarctica, which surrounds the whole Earth, just like you see on the United Nations flag. The United Nations flag. Google it, look it up. Click on the images when you get on Google. The United Nations flag is an image of all the continents of the world in a circle, a flat circle, like a CD, like a pizza. So this is the rainbow that is reflecting the glass shaped dome that if you look up in some videos Hillary Clinton mentions um, well we haven't penetrated that great you know glass above us you know she keeps talking about it in many different ways and times that yeah there is a, a glass ceiling there's a glass ceiling above the earth and that's what the rainbow is a reflection of. Every time you, even if you have a garden hose and you sprayed water with a hose, as the water is being sprayed, you will see a little rainbow in the water. It comes from moisture, water, which is a reflection of the glass dome that is above the earth. And that's what uh, rainbows are a reflection of. So, that's your lesson for today. The heavens declare the glory of Yah. And the firmament shows his handiwork. Day unto day utters speech, and night unto night shows forth knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Psalm 19. Read that. Psalm 19. Psalms. I never heard anybody protest or say they don't believe in the Psalms. So read your Psalms and believe it. Every single word is true. So, we have evidence in this video right here. That the heavens is speaking to you and I today. This is also a, uh, a view behind me of um, what should I? What is that? Actually, this is Castries somewhere over there. <laughs> I can't tell right now if it's in front of what you see or behind. Um, I want to think. I want to think it's uh. That's the. Uh, 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 front, the, in, the castries is in front of those mountains behind me. So, yeah, this is the view. And by the way, this is a nice little spot right here. People, I guess, have weddings out here, uh, have whatever little ceremonies or dinners or dates. 
Saturday night, whatever. And the beach, oh, I think the rain stopped. Now we can walk around. So the beach stopped. So now here we go. I guess this is the end right here of Calabash Cove's beach property. I think this little dock ends their line and that begins another uh, public beach. All the pe beaches in St. Lucia are public. So they are, there's always a uh, public access to all the beaches in St. Lucia. And so um, even if the hotel has all of this covered, yes, they do. They have all their property. here. This is their personal property and all of that. But they always have to provide a way for the public to get in and out to the beach, even though this is privately owned. But this is the view, small little tiny beach from right over there where the rocks are. Come right here to where this dock is right here. So there we have it. See, I guess the table is set up for breakfast. Two chairs and a little table and some beautiful bougainvillea flowers. And there's your rainbow. It's going away right now. You can hardly see it. But this is Calabash Cove um, Beach in St. Lucia. And until next time, to the forever. Hope you enjoyed this little. Let me just walk you. I haven't just walk you. Close out the video. Um, walking through this beachfront. Beautiful, beautiful beachfront. I'm going to take a swim in here. Which I usually do in the mornings, on the weekends. And look at that nice little cave where I guess you can take a little shelter or you can sit right there too. And have a little seat and have a little sun to eat. Take a little shade right here and do your little sails and stuff. Maybe even massages on the beach. <laughs> yeah. Perfect for massages on the beach. And here's this little, um, from here you see this, uh, I guess a little, that's not a trail. No, it's not. That's a little spot right there. Where people can have their dinners. People can have their dinners or massage with a view when you're able to lift up your head. <laughs> and coconuts. If you can get some and get them open. But this is the beach. And there's a little birdie right there in the water on the rock. Shalom, birdie. So this is our view. Hey. Alrighty. So, um... Behind this way, going up that way, is further north to Rodney Bay. So we are right now in the Marisu area, along the Grosile Castries Highway. And this is Calabash Cove in St. Lucia. Um, and so remember, say your prayers at 9 o'clock, 12 o'clock and 3 p.m. Evening, morning, and at noon will I pray and cry aloud and he shall hear my voice. So I'm going to be here until the 9 o'clock prayer time. Until then, next time, Shalom.